Okay, so in this video, we are going to explore how we can actually see summary statistics of our data set. Uh, so I have taken the adult data set and using dot hat method. Um, so these are the five rows which are being displayed. Um, so I can use the dot describe method to get the summary statistics of the numerical columns. As you can see for the age and hours per week, count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, 25th percentile, all this data is shown. You can also count apart from describe you can also use the aggregate methods like here dot mean on the age so the mean age is 38.58 approximately and the median is 37 similarly we can see the mod as well so if we just write mod here so it's the 36 zero is your index actually Let's just copy paste the line below and see the minimum value. So the minimum value of age is 17. Now let's see the maximum value. So the maximum value is 90. So this is how you can actually use the aggregate methods individually on that uh, column of series. Uh, further, let's check the standard deviation and the variance. So you can explore the standard deviation using the std method so it kind of basically gives you an idea about this version of your data set from the mean similarly we can check the variance so it's close to 186 here further moving on next we have is the quantile so we can call the quantile method to get the value it basically gives you an idea about the shape of your distribution so it is actually equal to the median value as half of the uh, values are below 37 and half of the values are above 37 so a quantile is 37 now let's just look at the sum so if you just call sum, it basically sums up all the ages which are there in the column so that's how actually you can dig deep in with the help of aggregate functions. Um, but just to get an initial idea of how the distribution of your data set actually looks like, you can make use of box plot initially. So I'm just importing the matplotlib.py plot here. Now let's try to uh, visualize the data set. Okay, so let's uh, create the box plot using the plt.box plot. It is just going to take one argument here, that's the age column, as if you just press the shift plus tab, so you can see these many arguments you can actually specify to customize it according to your needs. So I'm just going to take the age column here and let's just call out the plt.show. So if I just execute this statement, so that's how actually a box plot looks like. Okay, so let me just give you a little bit of brief about how you can interpret your data set using the box plot. On the lower whisker is your minimum value. On the upper whisker, it will be your maximum value. And this orange line actually specifies the median value. The points beyond the upper whisker, they are actually your outliers. And the maximum data the maximum data will be here um, where your box is actually present. So this is essentially where your maximum data set lies. So just to summarize, your box plot is a standard way of displaying your data uh, with a five number summary. So now you have a general idea about distribution of your data set. Okay, now coming back, we can further go on and plot a histogram uh, just to get a bit of more information about the distribution of values in the data set. Let's pick up the column age and call plt.show. So that's how our histogram actually looks like. The bin size is 10 here. And just by looking at the data where the median universe specified 37 as we have seen earlier, so that our data set is somehow kind of left skewed. Uh, that's where most of the maturity uh, lies.
okay so now let's further go back on the quantile part they are essentially your cut points so you say uh, 10% quantile actually means you know the 10% of your values are sitting at 22 or below that and 90 percentile it's 58 for the 40th percentile it's actually 33 okay just uh, in the last let's just have a quick look how we can actually use the cumulative function here on the age so if i just specify dot com sum uh, so that's how the values are being displayed so the value in a row is equal to value there plus the value from the previous row if we again go back and look at the first five rows of the data set so like say at uh, row 1 the value should be 89 that's 50 plus 39 and then in the second row it should be 89 plus 38 so which is 127 that's how the cumulative function actually works that's all about the aggregate functions thank you for watching this video